All right, guys, here is the 2022 Model Y, much bigger than I maybe even anticipated and was talking to you guys about. But uh, we're gonna walk around this thing. Here's your black alloy wheels. The Goodyear tires are brand new because the car is brand new. Coming down the uh, driver's side, it does have this white diamond finish, that tri-coat, so really beautiful. I went ahead and lifted this uh, back hatch for you because you do have a lot of room. And this sits up like, you can see right here is a Model 3 that sits down like a sedan. This, this, this does sit up a little higher. So boom, you're coming right into your trunk. You can lift this up with additional storage down below. This actually goes pretty deep. You've got two side pockets. there and then even lift this up and you have some additional storage underneath here not as deep as the first cubby hole but that's how they make them then you can lay these seats flat so I'll show you this just pull that button and it'll lay flat all three across so that'll give you a really good idea as it goes all the way up to your your driver side and passenger side seat and again, you just see, like right here, the button, push it. You can do that over here as well. All right. Coming around to the passenger side. I mean, again, the car is mid condition. These are all little cameras all throughout the car. You saw right there, you got your sensors right there. We'll go ahead and get in this car for you so you can see. the uh, brains of this vehicle still has the plastic on it that yep. off we'll, we'll schedule the software bay for later so you want to slide your card right here you got the sleeve right now, you just slide that right there. And then there's your nav. Now I gotta be honest, I don't know all the stuff to this vehicle. Um, volume control. So to sit here and give you an education on this, I would not be the one that would be very good. I do know this is your home screen come to that and it's got all these different ways and you can look at your charging we're at 83 percent if you only want a half charge you can you can change it right here if you want to lower your uh, output a lot of people just put it on max and then you plug in autopilot again those are those are things that you're gonna have to you can read more about but the autopilot is uh, just a, a higher version of cruise control on these smarter cars. The navigation, come right into here. Everything scrolls too, by the way. This is like a big, gigantic iPad. So you can scroll up, scroll down, home screen right there. It does show that the trunk is open, so we would have to go back there and close it. On your air, you just click it, click the low. We've got it on low. You can have all three settings, or both at the top, on your face, and at your feet. Or you can just do it on your face. And you'll get a little more power. No different than in the car. You got your rear controls right here. You do the same thing right there. Back to the front. Passenger side, the same thing. If you want to make it a little warmer, a little colder, it's right there. You do have a heated steering wheel. So just click that there, it takes care of that. Let's go back into here. Let's 
software. This would always tell you, like, again, where you can have your upgrade. So if you needed to do a vehicle upgrade, you can do that. Do your subgrade, or you can just hit upgrades. Service is available right now. There's your nav. Navigate. Plug in where you want to go. Tell, like I said, we got this from California, so it's got some California addresses. You can set in your favorites. You can set a home. Type it all in. And your screen would function toward that. So, like, if we were going to go to 2417 Gallatin Pike, which is this dealership, it automatically generates right there. Boom, you can save it as home if you'd like. Go to home. And it's obviously not gonna take us anywhere because we're, we're here. So, <laughs> takes you out, brings you back around to the dealership. You see that there? There you go, hope you like it.